Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at the uh, the great new plugin called A Total Adjustment. Um, now the way it works, it actually is a motion preset that allows you to add effects, filters, colour corrections um, to multiple layers. If any of you are familiar with Adobe After Effects, it works as an adjustment layer, which is uh, which is pretty cool. So you put it over a sequence, and then you can apply your corrections, and then it will add that effect to everything underneath it. Um, so we're just going to go over how you get it, um, how to install it, and how it works. Um, so uh, you get it from your Mac App Store. Uh, you need to be running Lion um, for it to work, and then once you uh, download it from the Mac App Store. You can um, access it in your uh, launchpad, and then when you launch it, it's going to give you this window. It's going to play you a lovely video, and it's also going to give you the option to launch the effect. Here are the instructions, by the way, if you don't want to listen to me tell you how to do it. And you press launch effect. It's going to open inside motion. Um, because of the new version of Final Cut, it's going to say, do you want to open the original or open as untitled? We're actually going to open the original because we don't mind if it updates to the new version of motion. And then, now that we're inside this motion project, we can go ahead and press file, save as. And we can save it as uh, total adjustment and on the category we're going to choose RGB house now you probably won't see RGB house so you're just going to choose new category and you're going to type in RGB house yourself and then you press publish um, but I've already done it so I'm not going to um, and then back over in Final Cut without having to shut down Final Cut or, or um, reload it or anything we can just go into our effects browser now it actually shows up under the title browser and you just want to bear that in mind and then you can see RGB house Oh, and then we can grab our total adjustment and let's put it over these clips here and then we can uh, trim it so that it lasts for the duration of these clips and then we can select it and then if we go into the inspector by pressing this I here you can see that we've got a few options here if we go into the video options um, we can go into color correction and if we start playing around with the colors you can see that we're adjusting the color of the clips and if we zoom into the timeline with command plus if we then um, skim over to this bit you can see that it's actually applied the correction to everything under the uh, duration of this total adjustment and we can increase this duration by just uh, grabbing the end and extending it out and then you can see if we look at this clip here we can see that's now got the color correction and it works the same with uh, filters and effects so we can go ahead and add some uh, 90 Ooh. We can add some 1950s filters. Just remember to apply the correction to the total adjustment bar, not the actual uh, clip. And then you can see now we've got the 1950s effect on there as well. So it's a really simple, really easy to use plugin. Um, works well. I mean, you can go ahead and try and create it yourself in Motion. I uh, for those asking, I will be doing Motion 5 tutorials, I just want to get up to speed in it so I feel that I can support any other questions you may have um, following tutorials that I make for Motion 5, so that's why I haven't uh, made any yet, but they will be coming um, by around summertime, I reckon. So hopefully this was useful, go ahead and install Total Adjustment, remember that it's free, so you've got uh, no excuse not to, uh, not to get it, and and enjoy. So I'll see you guys soon with a brand new tutorial. Remember to subscribe, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you guys soon in a brand new tutorial.